What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here and welcome back to another unboxing video. I'm really excited about this one because a lot of you guys said I was going to like it and so, you know, I always get a little bit excited when, when you guys say that. So in this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2017 October Geek Bill Box. This box is so long this month. It's like long, a little bit skinny. I wonder what's in it. If you're interested in getting this box, I'll go ahead and put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Ow. It looks like 3D glasses. All right, so the first item that just fell out was our Geek Peel magazine which looks like it's in 3D this month, just based off of this. But it also has some 3D glasses that are in the shape of a viewfinder, which is awesome. I love viewfinders. I haven't had a pair of 3D glasses like this in a really long time. So we'll open that up in a second. The next item we have is, I don't know what this is. So this is um, a Stranger Things pro like item. It says 11. Uh, homestyle waffles, and I know that there's something about Eleven and she likes to carry like Eggo waffles around So this is made to look like Eggo waffles as you can see. I don't know actually like what it is though. Is it is it a toaster? It's not really a toaster, right? I, I wasn't sure cuz like they like really did it up, right? Like they they actually put things they have here They have the back of the mocks Oh, maybe it comes with this things. Okay, I thought it maybe came with a toaster, but obviously not, right? But I think it comes with, what does it say? A mug, a shirt, and an air freshener. So let's check it out. The packaging is very unique, whoa. Okay, so the first item that popped out is an air freshener. This really looks like Stranger Things. Let's see, what do you think this scent is? Hmm, I don't know what this, Maybe like vanilla. I thought it was gonna be like maple syrup. Wouldn't that have been pretty awesome? I mean, I've never really seen a maple syrup scent, but that would have like kind of played along with the theme. I think this probably is the mug because it says fragile. Handle with care. To Chief Jim Hopper Hawkins Police Station. Wow, they, they legitimately did it up this month for the packaging, I'm gonna say that. So here is our mug, and it says, mornings are for coffee and contemplation, and it's in the font of Stranger Things. I really do need to check out this show. I don't, you know what I think I don't understand? Like, what is this show about? Like, I've seen like spoiler videos and spoiler articles, but I just like, I know there's a bunch of kids in it. I just don't understand, like, what is it actually about? Like, what are they just, like, running around in the forest or something? See, I have, like, I literally have no idea the premise of that show. Maybe I should just go watch one episode. Maybe I'll try doing that today. Just, like, watch one episode, see what I think, and then go from there. Um, the last time in this box is the shirt, but I'm going to hold off on that because we always do the shirt last, sort of, most of the time. The next item we have is our, oh, it's our pin this month. So this came in a box that looks like a VHS. Geek feel. I'm 100% gonna say your packaging this month is incredible. Nice one. So this is, what does it say? It says pins from the crypt. Now this is October, so there's gotta be some kind of like, you know, horror, whatever, Halloween slash creepy stuff in it. So this is probably the creepy item that I'm gonna say. And it came, like I said, in a, in a, like a VHS box. A little bit smaller than a normal VHS, but that's still really cool. Ah, ah, this is so cool, except for the fake blood, it's a little bit creepy, but this is so cool. Okay, so they made this, this box look like a VHS, so this, wow, wow, geek feel so intense, so intense. I love it, I love it. Okay, we're gonna open this box up, so this is our VHS tape. They even did the back side. Now, let me just show you guys, so I didn't show you this. These are the different options of pins. Um, the Penny Feel pin, which is based off of Pennywise, is the rare, and it's out of 500. And then they have Crypt Rover, Jason Feel Heath, The Shriek, and Hannibot. So, obviously, I mean, I don't really care which one I get because this is not necessarily something that I'm like super. Um, just the designs I'm not even trying to, but of course, I hope we get Pennywise because hello, that's the rare one. Dun, 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 dun. No, we got, is it the Jason one? We got Jason Feelhees. 
I can imagine that the Pennywise one's going to go for latest. Now, see, here's the thing. Because they are awesome in their packaging normally, I never actually get to see the pins because they're always packaged. I'm not going to open them. But this one's cool because I can actually touch it and see it. And these are really nice pins. I never really realized how nice these pins are. I don't know if you can even see the edge. Like, full, full on metal. Good color. Good designs. So, yeah. That's really, really cool. And like I said, this packaging though is legitimate. This is really cool packaging. I was actually trying to, uh, online, I was trying to buy a VCR. Well, I wanted to buy a VCR that records to DVD, which we have one at my parents' house. I didn't realize how expensive they are now because I guess that's a, not a thing anymore. But I wanted to play back my, I have these like Spice Girl VHSs. This is what I do during my free time, guys. It's ridiculous, um, but yes. Like, legitimate packaging now for the win. Good job, Geek Phil. That's awesome. The next item we have is our downloadable game. This is Death by Game Show. Welcome to the Death by Game Show, where your pop culture knowledge is just as important as your reaction speed and decision-making process. Starring UH, who has been sentenced to endure rehabilitation in a time where droid tyranny and human ignorance reign supreme. Since you're able to escape the ignorance, you'll use your smarts to build an army of trainable droids They'll help you overwhelm, distract, counter, and snare the out-of-control droids who are on the wrong side of humanity. I don't know what kind of game this is. I can't tell if it's a puzzle game or if it's like a... If it's like a... Like a... It's not a fighting game. You build some kind of army, so it's probably some kind of logical... There's probably some logic to it. This is a Steam game download. And because I know for a fact that I'm not going to download this because... I found that my time, it's just not as, uh, it's not as opened as I would like it to be to do things like this. So I'm going to go ahead and share this with you. So, oh, so first person to use the code gets it, I guess. So make sure, focus, focus, focus. There is your code for the game, Death by Game Show. Can you guys see the code? There it is. Can you see it? There it is. There it is. First person to use it gets it. Good luck. Have fun. The last item before the shirt is this awesome, I don't know what this is. I don't, like, I don't know what these are, but these are a mashup between Pac-Man and Batman. And I don't know like the actual, what the actual item is. What are these? They're like little vinyl things. So Batman is like the Pac-Man and you have the Joker, you have Catwoman, the Riddler, and Penguin. The giant bat in the sky, I'm gonna turn Oh, it's a magnet set. Oh, I love magnets, cool. You know who would really like this? T would really like this. She loves magnets, and she loves Batman. This is super cool, I love this. These are like kind of rubbery, rubbery magnets. So they're not, nothing like super, super fancy, but I like them. I like the designs, I like the characters, I like the mashup between the two. I like mashups. And again, the packaging on fleek. I'm very impressed with this box, you guys. I'm, I'm sure you guys probably could tell. I really enjoy it. Oh, I, I did do a little spoiler because the card is right there and I haven't opened the shirt. So let's open the shirt up. Okay, the shirt that we got is a, a really weird color. It's brown. It is from a company called Eleven Men's Men. Eleven? I don't know if they just put the eleven because I think eleven's on this, but let's go ahead and show you the shirt. I will 100% say I do not like the, the color of the shirt. It's brown and I don't like brown shirts. I am not a fan of that, but let's go ahead and check it out and then see what we got. So I got a men's medium and this is an 11 Stranger Things shirt. It looks like it's based, it's made to look like a card, like a playing card. Um, you have 11, she's holding her ego. You've got some flashlights. You got some like little things like you have that one dude's little hat thing, um, and probably a bunch of other things that represent Stranger Things. Is that like, I can't see what that's supposed to be. On the bottom, it, is that supposed to be like the Demogorgon or something? I don't know what that's supposed to be. I cannot tell. What is that? What this thing on the bottom is, I cannot like see, I can't tell the design. It looks like a heart and a tarantula spider and just a bunch of different things. I was gonna say a Demogorgon because I know that that's one of the things that's like part of that, but I don't know. Um, again, it's a cool shirt. I'm not a fan of Stranger Things right now, but even if I was, I don't know if I'd like it because of the brown color. And the thing I'll say is that on their card, 
it doesn't even look like the shirt is brown. Like this one looks blue and this one looks maroon. So I don't know what happened with the colorways on that one, but yes. Okay, so that's all the items in the box. Let's go do some pricing and recap. And again, I am gonna just say this that Geek Fuel, you win. Specifically, I actually really like this box with the items, but you win for packaging as well. The packaging was legit. So the first item we have was our shirt. It's an 11 uh, of Waffles shirt. And I do think that that was a Demogorgon on the bottom because it says something about a, a good D&D session. I know that that's based off of Dungeons and Dragons. So we're gonna go ahead and give that shirt $10. Don't think that's a licensed Stranger Things shirt. That is one of the things about this box is that they don't usually have a lot of licensed items, but because they do so well in their packaging, I don't mind it at all. Because a lot of times with these companies when they make in-house products, when the products aren't licensed, usually it's like they're a little bit janky. Like the item's janky and the packaging's janky, but the uh, actual packaging and items are actually really, really cool. I enjoy them. The next item that we got was our mug. Pretty simple mug. I probably would just give that mug maybe like six or seven dollars. Again, it's not licensed, so probably, I think you usually give mugs anywhere from, it's like six to 10 depending on. So why don't we go ahead and give that 650? I don't know if we can give it seven, I'm not quite sure. Uh, we had our air freshener, I'll go ahead and give that $2. It's like $3 for licensed air fresheners. We got our pin which we got the uh, Jason Voorhees pin, or Fuel Hees, sorry. I would give this thing, so usually I give their pins $5, but because of just the packaging and how awesome it is, I would actually easily give this $7. I love the concept of that, and the pin is really nice. I'm excited I get to actually touch the pin, because that's not usual. Game download, it says $10. I usually give the game download $5, so we're gonna go to give that five. Oh, and the last one we had was our <coughs> Pack Bat Magnet set. I love this. Easily could give each of these a dollar. You could probably give this one two dollars. So two, three, four, five, six, six. I think you could give this anywhere from six to eight dollars. I think that would be realistic in pricing. I love this kit and I like the packaging as well. Let's go ahead and give it seven. All right, so that's all the items in the box. According to my pricing, this box is worth thirty-seven fifty. Uh, one of the things I didn't do, which sorry I forgot, was our Geek Peel magazine. So let's pause the pricing and open this up because they usually have the gift things, like the ultimate geek, geek gift thing, which I like. And I just want to put on these 3D glasses, because why not, right? Whoa. How do I look? I have a really flat nose, so my nose, like, doesn't fit <laughs> in the cutout. <laughs> okay, it's like pinching my nose right now. Whoa. Whoa, this is crazy. Okay. So I usually don't look at too much of this stuff, but let's look at the Ultimate Geek. Is this 3D too? Oh, this isn't 3D. I didn't have to put the glasses on, I'm sorry. What do they have, what do they have? A lot more horror themed things this month. Here's some of the items. I just like this because it is it is good gift ideas. Like A lot of times you don't even know this stuff exists. <gasps> look at that Goosebumps kit. You know what's so funny? I collected all of the Goose, I collected, I'm gonna be honest, I collected the Goosebumps books. Like my dad bought them for me thinking that I was reading them and I read some of them. I actually read a good amount of them. Like there was like probably 15 of them that I really liked, but then it became like, I'm gonna collect all of them. And it just became a collecting thing. I've been a collector since I was a little kid. Okay, I like the Goosebumps kit, that one's cool. Oh, Luigi's Mansion mug, glow in the dark mug, that's cool. I like it, I like it. And then, Here's our pictures, but you can't really see them because they're 3D. Um, somebody told me that I was in this, so let me put my 3D glasses back on. I pinched my nose. Oh look, there I am. I'm right here. Oh yeah, look at me, 3D unboxing. That's cool. Thanks, Geekville. I love it. Let me see, can I, whoa, whoa. This like pops out. This is, I have not worn 3D glasses. Oh my God, in such a long time. Let me see if I can show you guys this. I don't know how this works. Does it work like this? I feel like, I feel like this this wouldn't work. Oh, you would have to overlay, huh? I don't wanna bend these in half though. No! Is that how it works though? I don't know how it works, you guys. I was, uh, uh. well look, there I am in red. Look, there I am in blue. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't know how that works. I think I have to overlay, but that means I'd have to bend these in half and I don't want to bend them in half. All right, so uh, according to my price in this box, we're $37.50. This box 
cost me $20 a month because I have the year-long subscription, which means I got $17.50 extra value on top of what I paid for, which is very, very good value. Um, oh, I dropped the pin. I dropped the pin. The pin has fallen. I actually weirdly like this box a lot. And again, it's October, so usually I don't like any October boxes. I like this box a lot, and specifically because, you know, it's funny, like, I don't even know if I like a lot of, like, the actual items. Well, like, I like pins, but, like, you know, obviously I don't like horror-themed things. I love the Pack Bat Magnet set. That's probably my favorite item. I also like the mug, the coffee mug, even though I'm not a Stranger Things fan. But I'm just going to say that the packaging this month won me over to, like, all of the items because I, the packaging was so unique. Like, they really went above and beyond in the packaging and that's the thing that's just blowing my mind right so uh, in general if I had to rate this box based off the pricing and how I just felt about it you easily could give this box a five out of five noobs that value is bomb.com for a twenty dollar box you're only looking for five dollars extra value and we got seventeen fifty which is great and even if you think I price things a little high you could lower that and it still like hits its value if I had a personally rate it I'd probably give this box a four point seven five out of five noobs um, it, it normally if the packaging wasn't like this I'd give it a four point five out of five noobs I weirdly like the items again I don't even connect with stranger things but like weirdly I like the items I don't know why and again I think it's because of the packaging so I'd probably give this box, okay, realistically for me, it's probably a 4.5 out of 5 noobs because I think maybe normally it would be like 4.25. I don't really know. My rating system is all over the place. Don't take it seriously, guys. But this is a really good box, and if you like all the items, you easily could give this box a 5 out of 5 noobs. All right, guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe if you want. No pressure, but a little bit of pressure. You should subscribe. You should do it. I hate when, like, I don't hate it, but, like, I watch all these YouTubers and, you know, they're always like, subscribe, subscribe, yeah, you should subscribe. And I always feel bad just, like, even saying that. Because, like, it's really up to you if you want to subscribe. If you don't want to, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm pretty picky about my subscription, so I get it. I totally get it. But if you want, you should subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this box. Uh, for those of you who are Stranger Things fans and or horror theme fans, what are your thoughts? Because this box is, you know, is geared towards Stranger Things and kind of a little more horror theme. But I like that they put the Batman, Pac-Man mashup because I feel like it kept this box a teeny bit more neutral instead of just being like a straight up horror box. Um, but like I said, I love this box this month. I love the packaging. So creative. I hope that they continue that in future months because... That is one thing I feel like sets them apart, just in general. Like, they started making their own pins, which everyone does that, but their packaging is on fleek. Like, legit, awesome, amazing packaging, and I think that they can do that with all of their items, like they did in this box. So, let me know what your thoughts are, though, down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my Thank You to Subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. So, be on the lookout for that. And before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out. Oh, I gotta go. I have a I have a, a meeting. I have a meeting. Ah, ah. Today's video shout out goes to Troy's. Troy's underscore. You get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos. I appreciate all of your support and thank you for liking my background. Although I think you like my background. Oh yeah, you like my new background. You thought it was cool. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Troy's. Troy's. Troys? Uh, Troys, you get the video shout out. Shout out to you, Troys. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.